Hey everyone, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sophie and this is another Sophisticated Saturday. That means we're working through my to-do list, getting things done around the house, doing some laundry of course, I always have cooking and meal preps going on, I'm gonna be cleaning up my recipe binder, doing a little at-home workout, and a bunch of other things. So I hope you guys like this video and get a little bit of motivation to get up off the couch and to get things done with me. So let's jump into it. I love cooking and trying new meals, but I have never actually made a quiche before. And I had some ingredients in my refrigerator that were gonna go bad. So I decided it would be great to make a couple of freezer quiche meals. I looked up online a recipe for a crust that I can make myself. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I've linked the recipe that I used in the description box below, but all that you need for one serving of this is one cup of flour with half a teaspoon of salt. Then in a separate mixing bowl, add a quarter cup of olive oil or canola oil. And in my case, I had a little bit of each left over, so I kind of just used what I had and used a little bit of both. Then you add a quarter cup of ice water, so I wanted to make sure my sink water was nice and cold before I combined it with the oil. Finally, add your salt and flour mixture with your oil and water mixture. Forever, forever. Forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I I'm just rolling out the dough with my favorite rolling pin, which I again will link below. Always make sure to check the description box because I'm doing my best to link all of the products and recipes and other things that you guys might want. But this rolling pin is so cool. It has different colored rings on the end of it so you can adjust the height in which you're rolling things out and it's kind of an all-in-one tool. Once the dough is rolled out as thin as I want it, I'm gonna add it to a cake pan and I'm just using them because I know I'm not gonna make a cake in the next couple of weeks or a month before I decide to take the freezer quiche out so I don't mind sticking it in the freezer for a while I'm loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment so right after I put the dough into the cake pans, I realized that I completely forgot to start a load of laundry. And anytime I'm trying to have the most productive day with cleaning, organizing, whatever it is, it is all about multitasking. And the first thing I should have done was put a load of laundry into the laundry machine. So I'm gonna run over and start a load before I go add all of the rest of the ingredients to my quiche. Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever, 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 forever? I watch you. So several of the recipes that I read said to combine your cheese with flour. So I would tell you why you're supposed to do that, but I have never made this before and I basically have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just following these recipes. I added some cheese, chopped up bacon that I had already cooked for a recipe the night before. I added some chopped onion, and then I'm just gonna crack some eggs, mix those together and throw it on top. I don't need nobody else. I got you.
also added a link to the recipe that I used for the baking instructions from the freezer, as well as some of the different ingredients to add to the quiche. But for this recipe, you don't need to thaw the quiche out. All you do is add it to a 400 degree oven and bake it for an hour until the crust is golden brown and until the filling is set. So it seems to be super easy and I can't wait to try it. You will see me flying high. I'm staring into your blue eyes. We don't need no Next up, I'm gonna make myself a little treat and I'm gonna make some stovetop popcorn. And I really like the taste of popcorn on the stovetop and I've heard from a lot of people that that's the ultimate popcorn. It's better than microwave popcorn or popcorn that comes out of an air popper, which I've never actually tried before. But all I know is this stovetop popcorn is great and look at it pop, it's so fun to watch. So my favorite topping, hands down, when I'm making this popcorn is to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and throw some ranch seasoning on it. If you guys have never tried that, it's so good. But I would love to know what your favorite toppings are. So if you have a favorite seasoning mix or a topping that I may not have tried before, make sure to leave a comment below and let me know so I can give it a try. Next up, I'm just gonna make some hummus from scratch. And if you have never made homemade hummus before, it's actually quite easy and I think it tastes better than the store-bought version. So it's worth a try for sure. I don't know if it's because these past few months we've all been spending a little more time at home, but I've been trying to kind of push myself in the kitchen and make some more things from home or from scratch that I normally wouldn't have. And I know at the beginning of our quarantine, a lot of people were making breads from scratch and things like that. So I am working on implementing some new recipes into my normal cooking routines and my meal prep because I'm finding that anything made from scratch is usually better than the store-bought version. I'm just chopping up some cucumbers because what is hummus without something to dip into it? And I'm using a Ziploc bag. I know I should be using a Tupperware container or something, but we were actually taking this on the road and I wanted to be able to toss the container that it came in. Back to the laundry because it was time to switch my load of clothing and toss in one more. So today I was only planning on washing two loads of laundry, a load of my lights, and then one of my darks and colored clothing. I do like to separate my workout clothing from my regular clothing because I use some different products and I don't like to use fabric softeners with my workout clothing or dryer sheets and I do with my regular day-to-day -day clothing.
on to emptying the dishwasher and I know that I have a full sink just sitting there. So once I finish emptying the dishwasher, I'm gonna wash the dishes and reload it right away. And I usually don't mind doing it this way. I think sometimes it's easier to just have one task that you're focused on. So I like the fact that I can sit there and empty the dishwasher, wash the dishes, reload it, and start it again. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another. to myself now and then i'll try to laugh but i'll cry a bit as well i was never any good at being away from you i met you in the summer when you left it was cold said we loved one another guess that we were wrong i met you in the summer our love was out of control i've been going crazy without you for so long i met you in the One of the other things I had on my to-do list today was to go through my recipe binder. So I like to keep all of my recipes in one place and this binder system has worked really well for me, whether it's a recipe I find from a magazine or something online from Pinterest or elsewhere, I collect all of them and categorize it in this binder. With that strategy, every now and then I get a little bit lazy and collect different recipes and just stick them in the front of the binder without putting them in the proper categories. And I have definitely done that for the past few weeks. So I need to sit down, categorize everything and put the recipes where they belong. my whites out of the dryer and I don't know about you guys but every single time I go to switch a load of laundry from the washing machine to the dryer or grab things out of the dryer I am bound to drop at least one thing more often I drop a couple so now that I have as much as I can carry in my hands I'm off to the bedroom to fold everything I think we were meant to be on you I love the things you did you did for me for me it seems like you're dropping clues don't 
There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything, cause you're stuck on my mind. Oh, another classic laundry dilemma the missing sock. So I was definitely confused how I was missing two socks in this load, but no need to fear. I found the socks in my next load of laundry. So somehow when I was either sorting my laundry in my dirty hamper, I put them in the wrong spot. Or when I was switching the load from the washing machine to the dryer, I maybe left something behind. As I'm switching this load to the dryer, I'm trying to pull out each item that needs to be hang dried instead of dried in the dryer. That way I can easily identify all of the items that should not go in the dryer and hopefully going through things one by one, I also avoid dropping as many items as I switch it to the dryer. You were meant to be with me, talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery. Next to me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. On to my in home workout. So I keep my workout on my phone, so I'm just going to look through the different exercises I wanted to get done today and get right into it. I'm starting off with jump squats, which are a really fun way for me to start my workouts. It really gets me into the zone, gets my cardio going, but this is something that anybody can really do. You can actually just do regular squats if you're not ready to jump, or if you're feeling like jumping around, you can start with a small hop, or if you really want to get after it, you can get that jump up as high as you can. So as you can see with my workout, I'm trying to just hit all the different areas of my body. I'm trying to get some cardio, some breaks in. So after the jump squats, I'm gonna do some abs and slow things down a little bit with bicycle twists, then bring it right back up with some burpees. So we can make it right without a fight. You know, no, no. Imagine what would happen if we did it right. So this move is called a caterpillar walk and I really like it because it's nice and slow in pace so you're not working the cardio too much but I do a little push up at the end so I work my arms and then every time I reach down and touch my toes I'm actually getting a good stretch so it feels like a really multitasking workout move. You know, no, no, they would speak from my heart so we can make it right without a fight, you know. Finally, whenever you guys do an in-home workout, don't be afraid to get a little creative. I just grabbed a small step stool and I'm gonna do some step ups with the weights that I have. You know, no, no, they would speak from my heart so we could make it right without a fight. You know, no, no, imagine what would happen if we did it. Yay for the last load of laundry. So again, I'm folding my bedroom. I start off by categorizing everything. That way I can match up the socks first, then fold all my pajamas together and so on. And I'm sure you guys have seen me fold in a variety of different areas within my apartment, but sometimes I like to sit on my couch and I can use my ottoman to fold on if I wanna watch TV. Other times I like to just get it over with, fold in my bedroom, and that way it makes it super easy to make sure I put everything away because that is the hardest step for me. I don't mind doing the laundry. I don't really mind doing the folding. It's not my favorite, 
but that last step of putting things away for some reason is so difficult for me. So if I do it in my room, then I know I'm gonna be a lot more likely to put things away. Last thing I'm doing today before I relax is cleaning all of my makeup brushes, which is something I like to do on the weekends. I don't wear a lot of makeup on the weekend, so it's a good time for me to wash my brushes and then they're clean and ready for me Monday morning. I usually just use a baby shampoo. I use Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo and it works really well for all of my brushes, but I think I had a little bit of this maybe Sigma brush cleaner. I can't really remember the brand but I wanted to use it up, get rid of it, and get it out of my bathroom. So that's what I'm using today. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration or motivation from this video, whether you sat down and watched it and you're now ready to tackle your to-do list, or if you did something like fold laundry or cleaned your house along with me, which is what I love to do when I watch YouTube videos, I hope that you guys got the motivation to tackle your to-do list. So if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post another video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.